one on mic two. That's you, Kate. Right, here we go. Mic three, Joel Creasy. Yeah. Come down and spend some time with the guys. This is Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, oh, hey. Take me to the place I love. Some radio, man. Yes, yes. Okay, strap him. Oh, we're doing it. We are so doing it. Yeah, we're party we're girls. Party girls. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Friday. We're about to go on holiday. Oh. Our last show for two weeks. White wine, that's fine. Just give me a lager. Thank you. Dizzy Rascal. Yeah, we finished the show with it yesterday a little bit, didn't we? Or the day before? Oh. It's like only the last 30 seconds, though. It's so good. Get your passport. In your bikini, you need a holiday, come see me. I know you're tired of the same old scenery. I know can change all that so easily. Oh, I'll be my bikini the whole two weeks. <laughs> what? In your bikini. <laughs> bikini. I can't wait, just get in my bay. That's for two weeks. Yeah. A double bikini, actually, because here that's cool. You love Dizzy, don't you? I love Dizzy, and I've got to, I've got to, yeah, I've just got to, so we, we cross paths once upon a time. Really? Mm. If you ain't doing nothing, let's fly away, drive away, get away. You can go to the club or hide away. You can do what you want to, baby. Are you going to go to the club or the hideaway? Where are you going to do? What are you gonna I might do? hit up Connections Nightclub while I'm in Perth. Oh, good call, Connie. yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go and do an audit on the drag queens, see if they're up to scratch. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are they? Are they different in Perth? They're very good over here, actually. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I find Perth do things very well because they are their own kind of community. Absolutely. Yeah. So many top comedians came out of Perth. Of course. Good comedy scene here. <laughs> of course. They. Husey, Claire Hooper, Tim Minchin. I thought you were all from Perth. Yeah, well, Husey lived here for a while. He's actually yeah, from Yeah, he's from Warrnambool. Shouldn't yeah. have kicked oh, off. Okay. Here. Judith Lucy was here for a long stint. Oh, so people who have been to Perth. <laughs> <laughs> I love the food. It's a great restaurant. Oh. I love getting out of the big smoke, you know, hitting Margarita and stuff. Oh, so do I. You know, hitting the beaches, Cottesloe. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful down there, out there. Um, but I, 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 keep, I always talk about swimming with whale sharks, but that is a bit of a trek from Yeah, Archer. and expensive. <laughs> I just thought that was my favourite bit. White wine, that's fine, just give me a lager. Come on, one more time, Dizzy, before we kick off our final show. For a couple of weeks. I want to move you up. I want to take you away. So have a word, darling. What do you say? Here we go. Trancy bit. Don't go to the club or hide away. You can do what you want to, baby. If you ain't doing nothing, let's fly away. Drive Here it comes. Away, take a holiday. You can go to the club or hide away. You can do what you want to, baby. Do the glow stick. Oh, yeah. Crack one for me. Strobe light. Yes, strobe light. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, we need lasers. Oh, the lasers. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, it's the morning where you are. Soda. Yeah, it is morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it does feel so weird doing this show. <laughs> Dancing at midday. Well, you've that's done right. that it's like, before. It's like yeah. you're in a day club. I know. Ooh. Oh, that's good. I feel good now. Oh, thank you. Of course. Anything for you, Reba. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just texted through that Reba McIntyre is Kelly Clarkson's mother in law. But we oh. may believe it's ex mother in law. Yes. Ex mother, and they said Joel loves Kelly, correct. Mm. Thanks correct. for your texts anytime. 04-800-31-KTJ, Friday afternoon, our last show for a couple of weeks. It's going to be a good one. I can feel it. I can feel it. Kate, Tim and Joel. Some big, big energy in here today. You know, it's got that vibe about it. Friday afternoon. Is there an unedited version of that that says something else? Yeah. Oh, there is. Mm. Oh, is the second big swap for something else? Um, something is to it do. Is big? L- the, the, I don't the know, what do you mean? about Pete Davidson. Yeah. yeah. Got that big D energy. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Is there a version of that? 
Um, yes, that's what it was originally, thought, and then we play this. Yeah, nice like version. ABC. Forget, yes. you, like, forget you. Mm. Like, not that. You could walk on to that song if you did stand up, Kate. That would be your walk on song. <laughs> She's Why? got that big D energy. <laughs> Me? Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. It doesn't make sense, though, because I don't have one. But you've got big no, R the- energy. Like, big R energy. <laughs> What's R? Big R? You do have big Reaper. Big Reaper. Reaper. I thought you meant something else. You've got big Reaper energy. Big Reaper energy. Scanning my brain for R things. R words. What was the filthiest R words? It's not R a day. Talk like a pirate day. It's April Fool's Day, mate. Or is that your joke? Is that the fool that you're trying to tell us that it's talking like a pirate? And then at the end, you go, it's not really that day. I'm like, ah. R's joking. R's joking. Walk the plank. I do love your eye patch, though. That is nice. That is lovely. Very mm. Madonna, Madam X. <laughs> Very cool. And why are you wearing any undies or pants? <laughs> no. That doesn't seem Be Reba right. energy. <laughs> I've seen it. Reba. Uh, I don't look like Reba. Your hair does. In my not hair your, doesn't. You don't My look hair like Reba. looks nothing like Reba's hair. She has a fringe cut in like a middle-aged woman, <laughs> and she's ginger. Nothing wrong with gingers. I love... You I keep lo- saying that all the time like it's... I love gingers. So do I. Rangers, redheads. Mm. I want to get the calendar, you know? The what? You know, the, the redhead, the hot redhead calendar that, that, that <gasps> they do each year? No, where's that? Oh, my How God. How do you it's, find that? Oh, just on the net or, you know. You just Google whatever you want now and then and hit buy. <laughs> <laughs> anything, anything that comes into your mind. That is your haircut. <laughs> that is <laughs> my... Haircut. <laughs> That's the, show me your if wallet. You don't know who show me Reba, your wallet. Is you that photo in your wallet? Did you take it into the hairdresser today? <laughs> don't, I it, want the Reba from a holiday. <laughs> yeah, I, don't I look know. Look like her. Mama's going on break. What year yeah. is she born? Are you going up to Tamworth or something? Yeah. Get golden guitars or something. <laughs> yeah, my sequin choker. <laughs> I don't, is that lady, I mean, and oh, now I feel like Sexy I'm, Reba. Ooh. Ooh. Someone's got something off the shoulder. Oh, look at that lighting. Beautiful lighting. <laughs> like in here. Oof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at her there. Look at that wild do. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, someone's wow. at a big night. Wait. Someone's with their finger in a PowerPoint. No, that's oh, no, the okay. 80s. slept yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> You've been out all night again. There's three people who know who Reba McIntyre is, by the way, and they're having the greatest time listening to this. <laughs> I thought pretty. you meant us three. Yeah, that it is probably, probably. probably. Yeah, no. Hey, uh, next we're going to talk about extreme saving. Now, we're talking about people who really are, like, saving is a great skill. Just ask Scott Pape, the barefoot investor. Sorry? <laughs> the barefoot investor. Save tonight. Are you a good saver? Are you an extreme saver? What are you doing? What are you saving for? How are you doing it? Yeah. Because this story, well, it's crazy. It's crazy. Put your money in the Bam Bam Bank. Me, you can bayo. <laughs> Ed Sheeran now. 132410 if you are an extreme saver. Plus $30,000. Thanks to homelines.com.au very soon. Kate, Tim, and Joel. Keep dancing, yo. Camille and Ed. Still confusing. <laughs> that song's got. I can tell you got beat, beat energy. There I am. Come yeah, on, give me a round of applause. To the she is Kate Ritchie. Ritchie. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Oh, what's she doing on stage tonight? I'm just eating raspberries in front of us for an hour. <laughs> so I, I just realised, I'm like, you know, I'm right here. She's not offered me one raspberry. <laughs> I, I've just finished a pun at raspberries. I know right? a whole pun. I know, You're like a big boost juice, like a raspberry rumba. I haven't boost been, juice. had time to eat. So, in a few days this week, I'll just grab a punnet of raspberries from the fridge. Uh, you've been in the studio with the guitar all day. <laughs> <laughs> the Reba jokes have to stop. Okay. <laughs> On one condition. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I mean, but it's not no. that I didn't think you would want to share my raspberries, and a few were a bit mushy, so my fingers are being in there. It's just offering. I always offer, you know. It's like I'm going to the kitchen, anyone want anything? Yeah. Whereas when, I've never heard you say that. Oh, that's not true. Never. I'm going to the kitchen. Do you want anything? And like at home, it's like, I can't believe sometimes if I'm on the couch and Mon comes to sit on the couch and she's got a glass of water, I'm like, what am I, chop liver? Like, you don't ask me if I want a glass of water when you're getting one? Oh, when you've lived to get together for that long, you, you stop doing that, don't you? I offer the room when I get yes. up to do something. If I do anything in the kitchen, I'm like, anyone want what I'm doing? Because I don't want to sit down and start enjoying it and then you want it. 
Oh, right. so it's still a selfish choice. Everything's a little bit selfish. Oh, really? What a surprise. <laughs> oh, says the woman who's just turning into a raspberry before my eyes. Well, they're very good for you. Lots of good um, mm. antioxidants. Oh, right. Yeah, cool. You have a tree. Like a what? A tree. Aren't they full of antioxidants? No, they're leaves. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're talking about. Blueberries. Do, uh. No, they... Tr- I'm tree, not a blueberry oh, fan. Sap, you know, like sap. No. You're a tree fan, is that what you no, said? No, I love trees. A blueberry fan of oh, all the fruits. Oh, well, maybe bring in some of those. I might get one. <laughs> <laughs> We're asking if you are an extreme saver. Save. Yeah, do you save? Save me, save me, save me. 13, 24, Liz, um, she loves Disney. And she's a woman from Philadelphia, and she has Not found... Not born it- and raised. <laughs> West Philadelphia. Song? Okay. Oh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Oh, you know, Will Smith. oh yeah, Will that's Smith's right. Been in the news. Who to? Who's that guy? What hit- he won the Oscar, yeah, Quite actually. weak. Yeah, he won the Oscar, and then he slapped someone in the face oh on God. television, yeah. Has that been reported on? Yeah. Vaguely. I think there were police cars at his house now the other day because there was a drone. Get pictures however they can. Mm-hmm. Oh, hang on um, just quickly. Yes. Bark from trees have antioxidants. The bark does? Yes. What kind of anti... Was, oh. Yeah, I, was, I knew it was a stretch with the tree thing. I just needed to get that what off What are you eating chest. bark for? I'm not eating bark. Well, Never mind. Hey, they grind it down, wouldn't they, or something? Yep. Make it into a powder or... Mm. Sell Juice it. it. <laughs> anyway, you want me to hurry up. This woman's 20, 28 and she has childhood memories of going to Disneyland. Yeah. So she just wants to keep going back there and she's found an extreme way to save up the cash for it because it's getting yeah. more and more expensive. Of course. How's she doing it? She has turned to donating plasma to help save for her trips. Where like she blood. lives, they pay for you for your plasma. No, like Kogan's. <laughs> Liz has now. I know, mate. <laughs> Here's three of my Kogans. Can I go to Disneyland now? <laughs> she, she donates plasma twice a week and, and she gets an extra 667 Australian dollars a month for that. That's amazing. Remember the first people to get plasmas and they were so up themselves because they had plasmas and then they were like $20,000 and then like Wait, six months now. later. Oh, the TV. Okay, we six months later, the they were like 3000 like, oh, yeah. who's the cool guy now? Yeah. And they were huge. And they were so <laughs> big. Remember, they were so big. They had those big fat backs on them. <laughs> huge. And then you'd have the big speaker attached below. Oh, yeah, it's great. So you got half the room. Yeah. And then, then, but you had no channels or streaming services, so you just watch the news on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, come so over and see Peter over his giant head. <laughs> Just having a bit of fun about plasmas. No, I know, but you were talking about TVs and stuff. I have nothing to add to it. Except well, you've got I heard a tiny TV. I've got you? a tiny. It's the size of a postage stamp. It's about. It's about oh that big. Gosh. I was talking to someone the other day about their TV. Michelle in the newsroom. Mm. Something about the fact that she doesn't have any free to air on her TV. And she thinks I'm a sad sack for having Foxtel still, but I love my Foxtel. Oh. She has a lot of big ideas about TV and what you should and shouldn't have. <laughs> Who, Michelle? Yeah. <laughs> I was so confused. Don't when you turn the TV on, you just get the channels, the free-to-air ta- channels. No, I think you need to have a plug. So you, you don't need to have an antenna or something, but it is, yeah. it is free. You have to, you can make the choice. Mm. Mm. You're a nice little office chatter, aren't you? <laughs> Wandering the halls, chatting oh. to people. Have you been up and down the halls? Gosh. Yes, I work here. That's yeah, right. It's cute. <laughs> hey, Tim. <laughs> so, do you know? You know why you don't like the fact that I do it is because you think you own the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have had and a... you, you own the chat. No, I and don't. You're the funny guy. No, I don't. Sometimes love... I can be entertaining as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reba. Someone's on the red carpet. Someone's on the red carpet owning it. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever Reba walks off the red carpet, they just pack it up and give it to her. Like, you've owned that. <laughs> you own it. <laughs> Tim, what do you do? You're an extreme saver, I hear. Well, I'm not. My wife is. She's still got her first little, uh, you know, the little paper paper pack she used to get uh, cashing your wage mm. for your work. Oh, yeah, yeah little, 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 little um, yellow ones. Yep. Still got her first one. I mean, she's the reusable, recyclable coin. Oh, yeah. Oh. Everything and anything. Yeah. Oh, that's so <laughs> nice good. to keep your first one. Yeah. yeah. It's an achievement, isn't it? Yeah. You're in the big, big bad world now. I know. I got 50 bucks on my first stand up gig in a check, and my mum said, you should keep that. Mm. And I went down to the Raffles Hotel in Perth and spent it on two cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> that hotel is um, why uh, that w- w- named my wife's dog. They called it Raffles because of that hotel. Oh, really? So really? many Perth connections. It's unbelievable. Oh, cute wild. name for a dog. Raffles. Yeah, it's yeah, a bit that of fun. is cute. Yeah.
Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll have a Singapore sling, thanks. <laughs> oh, no thanks. It's a pub. <laughs> uh, Marcel. Hello, how are you? Good. Extreme good. saving. Yes, I don't buy anything unless it's on sale. Right. Oh, really? Even like fruit and veg? Oh, not fruit and veg. Like if there's yeah. every soft night and it's half price, I'll buy ten of them. If it's fine, oh, I'm going to buy ten at once. It's just she, you said everything, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she, was, she was talking to the big dum dum. <laughs> Kate, Tim, and Joel. Kate, Tim, and Joel. Non verbal communication of the week. Yeah, non verbal time. We talked about this last week, I think. And we got a text. Remember we had Belinda call up? What was the reason we had them call for? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't have it written here. But this response is amazing. Yeah, so we've got um, Belinda telling us about being busted by the police doing it, really. Oh, actually, it was the police. We were parked. We were in a car, parked, and the police knocked on the door and I asked, are you here of your own free will? Oh, oh, that's quite a nice oh, question. Oh, that's nice. And then we got a text on 04 ktj Oh, my God. This is from the police officer. Yes. Oh, just was quickly, we were officer. asking people who interrupted the sexy time. That's right. Mm. OMG, I was the police officer that asked that girl if she was there of her own free will. We oh. used to do it all the time in Parramatta Park on night shift. Or oh, he's written night shirt. I think it was 1996 or 7. Brought a smile to my face. Hearing about it again. Good times. Cheers, guys. Well, How Peter. Awesome. Is it Peter? Who is he? Tim. Oh, Tim. I, thought, I just read that name and I thought, that's my that's sheep. That's for you. That's sheep for me. Tim in the Tim. world. Yeah. You've got a UE Boom 3, Tim. Congratulations. Oh. How fun's that? Listening to it as it happened. Oh, okay. that wow, that's car. me. Cool. Good reaction, everyone. Oh, Here's oh, five sauce. Oh, really Nova. Being in Perth. Kate, Tim and Joel. Five sauce. The young blood. We are moments away from giving someone, one of our five contestants, $30,000. Thanks to our friends at homeloans.com.au. I, I've actually, I've got some exciting news, but Lone Ranger Stacey will be on the phone live. Hi, it's Ranger Stacey. Hey. To give away the thirty thousand dollars. No, but on the phone. She's in the studio right now. Hey oh. team. Yeah, thanks. I but see. for the for the broad for the win, she's gonna go around and call in. Oh my god, incredible. Oh, that's yeah, really yeah, clever. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I know. So get ready. <laughs> uh, in the meantime though, what what do you do to make yourself look smarter, appear smarter? Is it clothes? Is it you buy something, you put it on your desk, like you know those what are those things called? Those little balls Oh, the balls that hit each other, five balls. Oh, and yeah. I always think people who have them, they think they're such yeah, fake glasses. Do you wear fake oh, glasses? Oh, fake glasses. You don't fake need. glasses the fun. Thirty twenty four ten. What do you do to make yourself look a little smarter? You know, like a point Dexter. It was point Dexter. Next day's function, <laughs> high class function. I love this story. It is great. Because it's about Ash- Ashley Tisdale, who we don't get to talk about often on this show. High school real, musical? Real passion of mine, yeah. She plays the um the, the, the mean yes. music theatre girl Sharpay. That's right. Oh. In high school musical. Have you seen she, the high school musicals? No. <laughs> oh, that's what you should do this holiday. Binge them. As you were amazed a bit older. We watched them with Bo, my daughter. They they are great. You um, have rated them highly to me before. Only the first one. She's a bit I think I think they get a bit ridiculous. Bit bit, bit kissier after that. Oh, oh not, not as appropriate. No, the first one's nice. Yeah, though, fun. Yeah, okay. fun. Fun. So, and, and she's been another, all like, she does a lot of kids sort of um, movies, Ashley Tisdale, I think. I'm is it Tisdale sure. or Tidsdale? Not, no, Tisdale. Oh, that's strange. It sounds like, it sounds not wrong. Tisdale. It's not Tisdale? No, Tisdale. Tisdale? Ashley Tisdale. Um, anyway, this is so <laughs> lame. Tisdale. It's Tisdale. No. Ashley Tisdale. No. She can be Ashley Tisdale for you. Um, <laughs> she's admitted she bought 400... This is so lame. She admitted she bought 400 books before her Architectural Digest photo shoot. Have a listen. These bookshelves, I have to be honest, were not, actually did not have books in it like a couple days ago. Um, I had my husband go to a bookstore and I was like, you need to get 400 books. <laughs> I mean, that is so embarrassing. But it's so funny that she's admitting I like that she's admitting it. That's she great. seems fun. Because books do look good on a bookshelf. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like that's what they were built for. Yeah. Um, I love some people like was, that. Yeah, it's so, excessive. Yeah, four hundred. That'd be expensive. Yeah, 
four hundred books. Yeah, that's what Kate I mean, said because she's a Hollywood superstar. Yeah. Um, people were stunned though that Ashley would purchase books for decoration rather than adding, you know, adding them over time or even owning that amount. Um, yes. She defended her decision. She said, "Let's clear this up. There are some of my books from over the years in there, but um, yeah, thirty six shelves that hold twenty two books. I did not have, and any interior." designer would have done the same. They do it all the time. I was just honest about it. Yeah. yeah Which real- is what you're saying. That's fine. Yeah. I think one one thing I don't understand, though, that's very in at the moment is people colour-coding their books because then when you go and put them back, like, how do you know what colour spine your book has? Oh, you look at it. I think you do know. Don't you know? Like, when no, I go no, to look for a specific for a cookbook, oh, I know I that see. that particular one has a red spine. So, that's what I look for. So, do you, do you have you colour code? Do you colour code your books? I don't colour code. No, because that's silly. But I look for the colour. <laughs> Because I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next, Lone Ranger Stacey's here for homelines.com.au because someone's going to say, oh, my God, like Adele for 30 grand. Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, Adele, oh, my God. We're jumping the jacuzzi after 5 o'clock. Ross going to play uh, My Word Alarm today, just for a bit of fun. Tim's Word Alarm. Yeah, it's making a little Friday appearance because we're going on break for two weeks. Oh, that's yeah. fun. Yeah, there you go. A little bit of a Friday game Very coming good up. Good alarm. But... I know. Yeah, I'll run you through it. Don't worry. How good is this, though? It's time to give away a massive $30,000. It's time to give someone a fair go. Better. Well done. Correct. Lone Ranger, Stacey. Get a fair go at homelines.com.au where their lowest rate starts with a one. Say no thanks to the big banks. T's and C's and credit criteria apply. How good is this? 30000 bucks. Oh, good. Oh, what a great this way to start. This prize oh, is sorry. totally wild. It is totally wild. Goodness. Isn't that right? Real life Lone Ranger Stacey. Hello. Hello. It's really me. Hello. Oh, Welcome hey. to the show. Well, no, hang on. Let's test it. Let's test it. Joel, ask uh, Lone Ranger Stacey a question. Let's see okay. if you get an actual answer. I'll ask the question that Kate, both Kate and I asked earlier. Uh, yeah. What are you up to this weekend, Ranger Stacey? It is my daughter's 19th birthday. So we've got a whole bunch of young people coming over and having a big time. Oh, wow. Wow, <laughs> wow. you're even impressed. You're even impressed, won't you? <laughs> you're impressed I'm having you. so much fun, that'll guys. Be, that'll be you, the party. <laughs> Oh, that's Yeah, huge. that'll be me. I'll be having so much fun, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a very popular part of this show this week. I hope you know that. Everyone's been a huge fan. So maybe if you don't mind, I might just start randomly dropping in like hey, team. every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy guys. Um, yeah, no, I, I've been hearing such, you know, everyone is, has been loving it. And yeah. you've been having a lot of fun with me, haven't you? We yes. have. Yes. We really Whoa. Have. Yeah. <laughs> let's just put you on hold for a second, Line Ranger Stacey, because okay. you're going to announce the winner. Because let's just speak very quickly to Denise, your finalist one. How are you feeling? Have you spent the money in your head yet? Oh, look, feeling pretty excited. Mm. And yes, I have been planning a little bit. So really hopeful today. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, fingers crossed. Finalist number two, Evan, hello. Hello, hello. Ooh. Mm, oh. Feeling nervous, Evan? Very nervous, but very mm. excited. Okay. Oh, fingers crossed. Dawn, everyone. Yeah. Dawn, thirty grand. What would you do with it? Thirty thousand. I mean, you have to put it on your home loan. But what would you really do with it? <laughs> I'd move away from the neighbour. <laughs> oh, Oof. that's right. Oh, fingers crossed. Oof. Fingers Mel, crossed. what's a fingers? <laughs> Mel, you can't cross your fingers for everyone. Mel, yeah. hello. Hi. How are you feeling? Thirty grand. I am so excited. I cannot wait. My hands are so sweaty and this is life-changing for me. Yeah, Ranger Stacey here, reporting for Lone Ranger Duty. <laughs> yes. And Amy, hello. Hi, guys. Hi, Amy. What would you do with it? Well, i definitely put it towards a home loan and I'm going to buy some new work shoes, two free shoes. Oh, because well, you, you're, oh, nur- you're a nurse, aren't you? I am, yeah. Do you, want to, do you, want to, do you say where you, you work or do nurses keep that private? Uh, I work. You don't have I, to. No. I work at a hospital. Yep. Yeah, at a hospital. Oh, well, yeah. fancy that. Oh, you've yeah. been having a relaxing time in the last couple of years. Everything's so oh, chilled chaotic. at work. Chaotic, absolutely chaotic. Okay, we'll leave you there. Uh, Lone Ranger Stacey's He's back crossed. on the phone. I'm going to hand it over to you, Lone Ranger Stacey, because you've got the, you have the winner of the thirty thousand dollars thanks to Homelines.com.au in your hot little hand, or even maybe just in your mind. I'm not sure. It's actually in my mind and in my hand. Oh, I got um, I'm so I'm actually so nervous because listening to each of those five finalists, they all deserve it, but there can only be one winner. Are you ready? We're ready. We're ready. Yes. Crossed. ready. Okay. Here we go. The winner is finalist number five. It's Amy from New South Wales. Thank you so much. 
Ranger Stacy, you're coming to the house for me. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm a party girl. <laughs> It'll be totally wild. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Thank you. Oh, believe it, Amy. Well done. Oh, my gosh. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Oh, that's ama- it's an amazing prize and, uh, yeah, a very deserved winner by the sound of things. Congratulations, Amy. Well done, Ranger Stacey. Thank Stacey. you so, so much. Oh, well Thank done. You. Well done. Have you, are you crying, Amy? I'm not, I'm not crying. I'm shaking. I'm like, I, I don't know what I'm feeling, but I'm so grateful and I'm so happy. Thank you. You're in the running to win no, $30,000 oh, for your no, hands. She's already done it. She's already done it. Come on. Kate, Tim and Joel. I got your text. Put the mash on for you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Joel. Yeah. Every day this week will be for some oh, request. No, nagging. I know. Just, just text Nova Boy. Just hits right. Sorry? <laughs> just hits right for me. You know? It does. Just, it's, it's really my wheelhouse, that song. What time is it in Perth now? It's 1.56 p.m. <laughs> it feels so weird. People are listening in Perth, by the way. It's obviously 4.56. 56, yeah. we, we're not we're mucking around, but yeah. Um, yeah. We're just being silly. Yeah. yeah LiveNation.com.au. There wouldn't be any tickets left for tonight or tomorrow, surely. Tonight is completely sold out. Um, there are like a small Look handful of tickets tomorrow night. Um, small handful of tickets left for tomorrow night. Uh, it's going to be a great show. You're doing that little Can't tiny theatre again, that really small one? Oh, shit. I'm playing the biggest <laughs> theatre in Perth. I'm playing the theatre I saw all the musicals in growing up. at the. Cr- I'm playing at the Crown Theatre. Are you really? Mm-hmm. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, it's, I'm very excited. It's, I've got mum and dad coming tonight, so it'll be interesting yeah, for fun. them to see the new content. Were they having <laughs> dinner before the show? After the show. I'm having dinner with them after, so, Aww. yeah. Good way I, to avoid seeing them before the show. I saw puppetry of the penis at the theatre across the road from Nova in Perth. The Regal. Oh, the beautiful Regal. That's They've got anything there. goes on at the moment. I'm looking straight Do out the window they? at the, at the billboard Gosh, at the moment. God, everything's back. Classic. Yeah, it's so God, good, isn't puppetry it? Puppetry the penis. Anything pinch goes. Yourself. Like if someone gave you tickets, like anything goes, you'd be like, pinch yourself. Like seriously. I'm like what have I done in life to deserve this? Gosh. I'm so lucky. Tripped over and fallen into the, the gold mine of life. Oh God. <laughs> I remember what it was like having to go and see Forty Second Street with this. One in London. Oh, I would have loved that. Joel, are you, oh you'd be gosh. brilliant. I know. I told them I didn't want to go. Mm. And we sat there with all our shopping in the tiniest seats ever because they haven't they haven't updated those theatres since, I don't know, the 1700s or of something. Of course, because it's gorgeous. It's, it's the, gorgeous. It was at the Drury Lane Theatre. I know I almost went. I was tr- trying to invite Kate to a musical uh, earlier and you butted in and said, no, no, thanks. I don't no, want an invite. No, I, was no, like, no. I wasn't inviting you, no, buddy. No, no, no. We, Kate, you weren't Kate, even part of the conversation. Kate said, I'll check if I'm free. And I go, I've already checked and I am not free. <laughs> yeah. That's how it went. <laughs> but it's good luck to everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The glasses on screen. On screen. On screen. They put lime in my gin and tonic at the Drury Theatre. Is there a Drury Lane Theatre? I'm like, oh. we're in, in London. That's weird. Oh, What's so, wrong with that? Well, London is synonymous with gin and tonic and lemon. Oh. Mm. And that's how it should be. I mean, yeah. London, you know, when in Rome. Yes, I get it. Yeah. Get your act together, Drury Lane. <laughs> yeah, so I threw it back in their face. Went, ah! <laughs> Good. No, oh, I was very dead. I had it. I had it. Yeah. Of course you <laughs> did. Very quickly. Uh, all right, let's have a look at what's happening in the glossies uh, right now. Oh. <gasps> Whoopi's back again. It don't Whoopi. even matter. Yeah. Um, but, but she's talking about Will and Chris. Will yeah, and Chris. her latest take. Yeah. I think they that he was asked to leave. Know that. They come back from break. Now, if he's in some sort of state and he's... Struggling, and you're trying to get him out the door, hmm. and it's still on camera. I do agree with her. I think the Oscars tried to make it look like nothing happened. They don't forget they pulled the feed down. We we got yes. the live feed. So in America, it was kind of obviously they saw the slap, and then that was it. Yeah, yeah. they didn't hear the swearing. No, which no, was which kind I thought, of the scariest. I bit. thought so too. <laughs> Uh, what else is going on here? Let's have a look at this. Oh, you love this story. I mean, I love that Mary, Princess Mary's in town. In Melbourne. I can't believe this. She's the Princess of Denmark? Yes. Yeah. And she's rocking around an Amber Petty's little red hatchback in Melbourne. Oh, that's great. I wonder where they are. <laughs> they were in, shopping in Brighton yesterday. Shopping doing some shopping. Oh, what are they getting? Camillas? I don't know what you buy in Brighton. <laughs> what, do, they, what do you buy in Brighton? Went, they went to, mm. I, I read in the paper, they, read, they went into Saba, Morrison, and they went into Saba. They went into Saba, what? Morrison, and there was a third. There was What's a, a princess buying at um, Saba. I have no idea. Oh, the other brand. Come on, girls. Was it Cuba? <laughs> no, to Cuba. Um, it Blue Illusion? No, it wasn't Blue Illusion. Ed Hardy? Um, <laughs> oh, Brady Mays? Carla Zampatti. Carla Zampatti. Oh, wow. 
Oh, okay. Because I'm Patty. That's a big jump from Saba. What is Saba? Saba is a women's Just clothes a, clothing store. Yeah, women's store. men's. It's, but it's very, you know, simple. Yeah, okay. Classic. Yeah. Great. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. What? What? what, what? <laughs> Wouldn't you pop it? What's the what's the the prince's name? Frederick. Yeah, when you pop into like you know Roger David and get something for him while you're there. Oh yeah, of course a oh, YD. Yeah. Get him a bell for oh, play the shoes. Bit of country yeah. road. Yeah. All, All right, nice. last glossy. What's happening? Second last glossy. What's happening here? Oh, Tiger King, whatever his yeah. name is, Joe, Joe Exotic. Joe yeah. Exotic. He has filed for divorce from the husband of four years. Um, Dylan Passage. Yeah, up the Dylan Passage. <laughs> I know. I've been mean, watching that doco. I'm surprised they stayed together as long as they did. Well, he's been in jail, so it's been a long distance relationship. Is his last name always Passage or just when he met Joe? No, it's called. Oh, no, no. Don't get involved in it. Where's Joe? He's with Passage. <laughs> I'm not suggesting a first name. Um, you've got one in your mind. I do. I've got a really good one. Write it down. Go on. Come on. Go on. Do you have a Sharpie? It's of course Friday. I do. He's always got a Sharpie. He's got a Sharpie in my hand. Mm. I always like to carry a Sharpie in case I have to need, need to do an emergency autograph, autograph. or something. Autograph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can you make Which it out? So, so can you say, best wishes, Josh Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kate Ritchie. That's not the first name. That's first, middle, and last name. Kate. <laughs> no, he's got two middle names. And finally, this is great. I mean, Harry Styles Day and all that, but how's this? Red Hot Chili Peppers on their album release day finally were honoured with a Hollywood Walk of Fame start. Like, can you believe they've not had one? That's wild. And the guy that emceed it was the bloke that wrote their song Hollywood with him years ago. Perfect. This is um, part of the new album. You've got to, if you love the chilies, it's a perfect chilies album. I'll pop it on later. You pop it on. Walk onto it. Oh, no, you know, I've got my pay pop ready. Yeah, true. We'll jump with the jacuzzi next. Kate, Tim and Joel. Tim and Joel. Friday night, gentlemen. It's Friday. It's Friday on Nova. Shall we take a dip? Oh, yeah. It's nice to have you back in the jacuzzi, actually. Thank um, you. I missed it. Mm. I just sit in the bath last Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Did you now? Bubble bath or? No, I just kept swinging my legs around, making bubbles. Oh, nice. Fun. Big bath. <laughs> Let's just stop talking about me in the bath. <laughs> like kicking your legs. To make bubbles. To make like uh, jacuzzi bubbles, yeah, no, I get it. I it get doesn't it. really matter, but yes, lovely to be back in here with you, new cosies, Joel. Oh no, thank you very much, mm, Tiger Ooh, Lily, which was a bit of a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Tiger, they're from Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily, I love yeah. it. I'm so boho, like, you are mm. taking on a lot of water though, and they're starting to stretch. You should do the double bikini look, like I was texting you photos of before. I know, I know. Have you heard about oh. the double bikini look? Tom? Double bikini is right me- in. You mentioned it on air a little yeah. earlier. Because black has told me double bikinis are in. You double, yeah. you double up your bikini. Double bikini. So you ha- you wear one bikini and then you wear another one over the top of it, but with different kind of straps, oh, in different, in different areas. Directions. Now, did yeah. you Google that fashion trend before you Googled the girl in Harry Styles' video clip or after? I've seen that fashion trend for, for months. I oh. bet you have. That girl from that video clip, she was doing it somewhere, wasn't she? But imagine all the tan lines. I don't get it. I mean, not that you should be tanning. Should be fine. No. Um, very soon we're playing My Word Alarm, which is great. Is it? Was it Amy our winner as well? Congrats to Amy and also home <laughs> Lone Ranger Stacy. Hey, team. Home Thirty thousand dollars we gave away to go toward Amy the nurse's home line. Amazing. Harry Styles dropped a new song early this morning. Here it is again. As it was, is on your radio now. Kate, Tim and Joel. Harry Styles. As it was, dropped today. It's on your radio today. We enjoyed playing it. Film clip drops today. Too. I love how the film clip drops the same day as the uh, as the song now. You know, you used to wait like a few weeks for the film clip, sometimes yeah. even months. Mm. Months. I like the film clips have made a comeback. Oh, I mean, I've always loved a film clip. Yeah. I'm from straight onto a film clip. Love yeah. it. I love a film clip. 
mad for it. A bit annoyed that ABC runs the breakfast, that news breakfast on the weekends because Rage used to just be on all morning. Now it stops oh, at 7 a.m. Right. and starts up again at 10. I'm like, no, mate. Oh, I, know. I know all the news. Yes. Bloody hell, I've got, a, I've got a phone. Yeah, I've got a phone and other channels. Just put Rage on. I think Rage are doing a, a Taylor Hawkins tribute, though, this weekend. Oh, so nice. it, if you're up late tonight or Saturday night or early Saturday morning, check it out. Great. Plug over. <laughs> um, holidays. We're about, we're about to go on holidays. We're not going anywhere, really, but, you know, no. two weeks break. As you say, end of term. Yes. Um, we love holidays. But holidays gone wrong, 13, 20, 10. Holidays gone wrong. What, <laughs> what went wrong on the holiday? Well, when I first clicked on this article, it said, um, gay couple pulled over or pulled, stopped by Mexican cartel. And I clicked on the article and I, re- I realised I probably didn't need to call it just say gay couple. You could have just said couple. Yeah. It really doesn't add anything to the story. Not, would oh. you have clicked on it otherwise? Mm, good point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but if you're wondering, they're a gay couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Called Aaron and Logan. Oh, got Aaron and Logan. I never didn't expect you two to end up together. But I congratulations, know Logan. God, I've got I've got a lot of friends called Logan. Do you? I do. I know a lot of Logans. Oh, how, are they the same age? Same age though. Yeah, yeah right, in their thirties. It's like there's like all the Maddies are like twenty six. Yes. Yeah. yeah, except for ours. But all you know, I noticed that a lot of Maddies are like twenty six. I'm like, okay, twenty six years ago, Madison was real yeah, popular. Yeah, that was yeah. really popular. I know a girl called Logan. Really? Who would only be in her early teens, I would imagine. Logan, that's yeah. cool. I oh, like that. I like girl. boy names for, for girls. Is mm. it a bo- uh, It's a boy name then. I think so. Okay. Mm. And I know tons of Aaron's. You'll be shocked to hear as well. Um, uh, you know, oh yeah, Aaron. Oh my god. Yeah. I know a lot of them very well, actually. Anyway, Aaron and Logan, they're a couple from Indiana, and they were left hyperventilating after being chased in their car and pulled over by the cartel. While bird watching in Mexico, I've got actually footage of. I don't know if you have a grab here, but I've got a grab of them oh, running after the um, or the like running away from the cartel. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did not even pick that. I was just. I oh, know. Well done. Were um, they really bird watching? Well, what do you think? Well, they, you thought they were just going around and have a bit of. Well, bit they of were fun. out in the middle of nowhere in their car <laughs> uh, watching and also, birds. And also, I didn't think gay couples liked birds. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Um, well, get this. They were driving down a dirt road. That's on my sheet. Was it While night? On their. <laughs> no, it was during the. There's a bit of footage. While on their bird watching adventure, when they noticed a pickup truck speeding behind them. I think we. Do we have a little bit of it? or? Oh, the real one? The real, yeah, the real one. Go, 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 no, 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 please, go, please, 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 what? Please, what? No, Espanol, please. Mm, I just oh, want to they're say a couple actually of birds. frightened. I mean, yeah. I would have freaked out. I'd be screaming. And the cartel... I was like, I love narcos. <laughs> I've seen Ozark. Um, the cartel members actually calmed the men down, repeating, no problem, and asked them where they are going. And in the end, the cartel members explained to the um, the two guys that they are not allowed to be on the path and ordered them to go back to the highway. That would that would be terrifying. Oh, yeah, hugely. They do mm. look terrified, but they look tired. Do you think that experience made them tired or they'd had a big night? You're, you don't believe anything about these, this couple. Oh, just, I they, they're oh. filming it. On, why, why are they filming inside the car? Well, they've got a, yeah, why have they got a GoPro on them? Oh, because that's a GoPro. Oh, because dash maybe cam footage doing, goes the other way. They're like doing their version of the trip or something. Oh, maybe. Or maybe they were filming something out there. So oh, wow. Naughty. Oh, well, that's full on. Exactly. Mm. So now you're on my side. We're practically oh, yeah. investigative journalists on this show. <laughs> it's like I'm doing the show with Yarn Event and Liz Hayes. <laughs> I know. And which you one is Yarn. Who? I'm Yarn, yeah. obviously. Yeah, you know where I used to see Yarn Event all the time? At, at Simon Johnson. Remember Simon Johnson? Oh, yes. Yeah, in Wallara. Wallara. Like some quince plate paste and oh, some. French butter. Yeah, and that'll oh, be nice. $754. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm going to make paella one day. I'll get that big paella pan that got hanging up up there as well. Oh, yeah. gorgeous. It's so lovely in there. All the things you don't need but you want. Yeah. What else can you do in a paella pan? Can you just, I literally only do paella? Well, it's, it's perfect for paella. 
<laughs> well, knock me down with a feather. Well, but you can put an egg in it if you want. That's stupid. Why would you bother? You have to wash it up. Yeah, yeah. God. Why would you b- 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 fry one egg on a pan well, nine metres by nine oh, like metres? Oh, yeah, okay, you can put, put a, put, cook a steak on it, but you look like a tit. Yeah. Oh, I'm just thinking if you've got people coming over, can you serve something else in it? Like a, you know, like a, no, ain't got me, like a punch or something. But no, it's not deep a enough. Punch. It's just, about two inches oh, deep. Oh, yeah. I was just, as soon oh. as you put the ladle in it, it all falls over the edge. Oh, cool party, Joel. Well, you just said the paella pan was very expensive. I was trying to find another use for it. We well, could put you. it on the dining table and fill it with lemons. Oh, oh, oh gorgeous. Oh, yeah. And Joel. I'm having so much fun, guys. Hey, Tim and Joel. Driving you home on Nova. I get away every day. My Confidence, man. Their album came out today, too. It's called Tilt. They're Australian. They're from Brizzy. Chili Peppers album out today. Harry Styles song out today. Huge week for music. Oh, huge day for music. Just give it a bit before the Kmart store. They had a great story actually when they were partying in Brisbane once. Mm. They, they were they got to know U2 quite well. Oh, oh wow. And when U2 played in Brisbane, the edge went to their house and the neighbour came over at like two or three in the morning yeah and said hey yo can you keep it down oh, and the edge was just standing there <laughs> the neighbour's like oh it's cool oh it's fine it's cool yeah, yeah, yeah. as you were yeah 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 <laughs> um, now we're on break after today hence the holiday vibe yeah and then into the Easter long weekend week after Ooh, next oh yes a couple of weeks you're away you're mad for Easter have you got your big cabaret yeah. delivery yet <laughs> Well, I'm not going to tell you. And they put pop it straight in the boot in the, in the uh, loading dock, remember? Oh, it's okay. a fortnight today. A Kmart customer has found an R-rated activity suggestion inside an Easter cracker. Now, I didn't know you could buy crackers for Easter. Easter cracker? No, I've never heard of that. I guess if you're sitting the Easter table. And inside the cracker was a charade suggestion. Great yeah. idea for after mm. lunch. What do you mean? It was to act out a scene from the adult book... Um, and film, of course, Fifty Shades of Grey. So it's like oh. little crackers for the kids. You know, you might want to set up their little play table when they're having roast lunch on Sunday, Easter mm. Sunday. And they haven't kind of put kids' versions of charades in oh. the crackers. Easter crackers, though, please. I know. Well, oh, you know I'm mad like, for a cracker and a, and a, and a, and and a, a lay and table. A, a bit of Christmas, card. maybe. Oh, place know, card. No, I do Easter any time of barbecue even. I'm but fine. stop, Easter's meant to be casual. That's why people like it. Oh, I can do casual with it still with a place card, mate. I don't know if it's casual. I did pull out my Easter plates today. <laughs> my little wreath for the front door. A wreath? A yeah, an Easter e- wreath with Easter eggs an on Easter it. An Easter wreath? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Even you. No, I'm mad for it. I love it. I'll be there. Easter Sunday. Just tell me what time. Okay. Come on, we've got a little bit more of this. This is cool. Get around this. Happy Easter. In two weeks. We've got my word alarm coming up. I cannot God, wait. You are going to have to run me through the rules of this. Oh, we'll so do it next. Easy. In fact, in my solicitor. I'm getting high, I'm never low. I feel so ridiculous dancing at the time of day it is where I am right now in the Perth studio and like sales staff are walking past going, what's going on? <laughs> it's lunchtime, bro. Yeah. Hello. Right, I'll go over to the Subi and have some chips. I know, bring me a mug. I might go over to, Ch- over to Chutney Mary's. They're oh, still Ch- open. Is Chutney Mary's still there? Chutney Mary's, I'm staring at it right now. Oh, Chutney's! Yum. Okay, 132410, what's the prize? Um, something fabulous. Is there a prize? Oh, that's right. All right. I love how you just shoot, like, you've got to write stuff down. Um, <laughs> Cash? Yeah, that's Cash? right. Every word you get is 10 euros. Remember, because that's Tim's word alarm. Of course. Oh, is that? That's how we play. Yeah. yeah you loved it last time. Yeah. Oh, I'll run you through it in the song. It's Superfly oh, with oh. Defunk. Pleasure love on this Friday afternoon. Oh. It's Kate, it's Tim, it's Joel, it's my word alarm. Next, if you want to play, 13, 24, 10. Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, Superfly, Duff. Defunk. <laughs> Duff. <laughs> it's Kate Tim and Joel. 
Well, we were just playing Confidence Man before. Their album comes out today, or he's out today. They're, yeah. They're guest hosting Rage. Remember, I'm telling you, Rage is doing a little Taylor Hawkins tribute. They'll yes. be guest hosting Rage from 9 o'clock Saturday morning. Tomorrow morning. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah in what looks like them. full Gucci. I know, they looked fabulous. They, oh, no. Obviously, they're big fans of House of Gucci like me, so they've got great taste. Mm, look at those knee-high boots. Oh, mm. my goodness. Fantastic. Hi, everybody. Oh, you, yes, Lady I Gaga. knew exactly what you were doing when you turned to your computer just then. Oh, well, I have to look at the computer. I know. Mm. I knew you were going to make fun of my queen. But he fine. was Googling double bikinis again. <laughs> I don't need to Google it. I know where to find it. Mm. <laughs> In the hidden folder on your phone. It's time for my word alarm. There goes the alarm. Tim's Word Alarm. My Word Alarm. Tim's Word Alarm. Tim's Word Alarm. The Word Alarm. I don't get it. It's my Word Alarm. Tim's Word Alarm. That was Tim's Word Alarm. Yeah, we borrowed it from Scooby. Uh, Scooby's Word Alarm. This is them playing it. Uh, where was it? Was the show? Oh, that's it. Radio Hamburg. Mission Get Up. Mission Get Up. Like, that's their mission to get you up. I love oh, that. That's great. We should be called Mission Get Home. Yeah, mission, have a good time. Yeah, um, at Hamburg, 5 till 10. No thanks, we'll have to negotiate those hours. Yeah. Uh, with John Ment, Luca Butler and Stubi. Stubis Wortalarm bei Radio Hamburg. Die mit dem Schwert und Rüstung aus dem Mittelalter, wie hießen die? Ritter. Ja, ähm, ein Richter fällt ein? Urteil. Perfekt. Er brennt in der Mitte vom Ferienlager ein? Lagerfeuer. Genau, was für eine Spezies ist Ariel von Disney? Äh, Jawohl. Äh, Leitungswasser kommt aus dem? Wasserhahn. Ja, Hahn. <lacht> Perfekt. Das waren sechs gültige, Gabi. 60 Euro für dich. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. So you get it now? Yeah, no, I get it. Clear I was just mud. thinking about, imagine if we had to speak to each other for 25 hours a week. Oh my God. <laughs> how long, how many weeks do you think we'd last? <laughs> oh, we could do that. We could do tag team. I don't mind it. Oh, yeah, I love old. I'm not saying. Are you lower in your chair, by the way? What's yeah, happening? Yeah, I felt I felt a bit high before. No, you're too well, low. I'm going to have to stand in a minute. Yeah, anyway. I'm going to stand too to play third alarm. But well, can you make sure your microphone goes with you because your microphone's been so far from your face all day. I, I'm not in my usual studio. I mean, I, I feel so far away. I feel like I'm on another planet, you but I'm actually to... in beautiful. Perth. Oh yeah, that's moved um, no centimeters. So that's, no, because that look at it's, look at the what well, I'm dealing with. Okay, no. Oh, okay. you know that Joel, you should meet up with Tim in the holidays and he can run through some mic technique with you. Yeah, we should, have, lun- we should have lunch that. in the holidays. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and talk great. about the mics. And I'll, go, I'll, yeah. I'll take you out to road. Oh, my God. Where, where, where's the camera going? Oh, road mic. Whoa, it's moving. No, no, I'm here. I'm right here. Hi. Oh, oh, no, who's controlling no. this? I know. Is that Nathan and Nat? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I oh, know. That's Sean McManus. Easy. Okay. Why are you, why are you over there? Well, oh, this is where I'm, I'm standing. Can someone, who, who's doing this to the camera? Is that Maddie? Maddie? What from here? Oh, She's it, controlling the Maddie, camera. That's She's amazing that Maddie can control a camera from Sydney while I'm in Perth. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm this far it's more technical. It's so amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's it's nothing cool. more amazing has ever happened in the world oh, of technology. Oh, shut up. Okay, just play third alarm. <laughs> oh, I want to get another Kate. Elon Let's Musk play. Yeah. rocket. Hi, Let's Elon. play. No, watch me beat you again. Well, you've done Eurovision, right? So they have the camera on you and we can see it here in Australia. Oh, cool technology. <laughs> How do they do it? <laughs> Thank God we don't do 25 hours a week together. <laughs> You're both playing for a contestant. Stephanie, Joel is playing for you. Hello, Joel. Hi, Stephanie. I mean, sorry, hello, Stephanie. <laughs> hey, Joel. Hey, hey, babe. How's it going? Yes, Thank you. I'm right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and Amber, Kate's playing for you. Hello, Amber. Hey, Kate. Bring me some cash. How are you going? I'm really well. You do. Everyone's a guaranteed winner here. So, I mean, you, you obviously can beat each other, but every for every one you get right, you get 10 euros. Oh, right? so they'll still get the cash yeah, regardless. That's right. 30 yeah. seconds on Wonderful. the clock for each of you. I'll describe a word without naming it. For example, it's a vet and comes out of clouds. It's rain. Rain. For every word that's guessed right, I have to do it in the Stubi word alarm because that's that was the condition. They said you can have it, but you've got to be Stubi. <laughs> so I said, is right. Stubi the one that I think is middle right? I think Stubi oh, is yeah, well, the blonde one. The one in the middle with the glasses. Oh. Uh, for every word that's guessed right, the listener wins 10 euros. Are you ready to go? Your clock, your timer starts Can after my me? first word alarm. Can you hear me, though? Is my mic okay? Is, is Joel on? Oh, uh, okay. Just is start. he on? Just start. No, <laughs> oh, we're not actually... Game. I'm not a caller. I can't hear him. Oh, I can't believe you're doing this to me. Can you hear Joel? Is he connected? Oh. Did Maddie do something with the camera? You're the worst. Do you want me to go first? I can see the girls in the booth. I can see the girls in the booth nodding. Thank you, Jess. She's giving me a thumbs up. Oh, Jess. Oh, Jess, seriously. Seriously, Jess. Yes. It's Friday. Get on, the, get on board, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Today's not the day to not be a team player. Okay, here we go. Tim's word alarm. Here we go. And remember, you are scoring and telling me how many euros, okay? Because I'm not doing everything today, okay? 
<laughs> I'm being stooby again. I love it. Classic stoobs. Hey, stoobs. Want to go out later? Yeah. yeah. Dance on the podium. <laughs> okay. Yes, please. Something you roll under your arm to smell fresh. Shutter. Something you drink to help wake you up in the morning. Coffee. Something you use to wash your clothes. Uh, d- detergent. Something you put in your car so it moves. Petrol. Something you read at a restaurant to Book. describe what you want to eat. Menu. <laughs> Something you use to get directions. Uh, map. Something you use to text your friends. Te- fine. <laughs> Some you write. With two wheels. Motorbike. Bicycle. Something you use to eat noodles. Uh, uh, chopsticks. <laughs> A piece of cloth you put on your when you're cold. A uh, jumper. Something you show flight attendants when you board a plane. A boarding pass. Oh, Stooby! Bit, bit of laughter from Stooby in there that slowed me <laughs> down. Because you what you answered. How much is Stephanie? Oh, 110 euros. That's not bad. That's, That's a bad great result. Oh, I'm feeling nervous. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, Dan. It oh, it's Rammstein Radio. Rammstein. Okay, you ready for round two? I'm actually of my not. Little, um, I'm Amber. This year. Hello, oh, Amber. I am. It's not Amber. Amber Petty, is it? I wouldn't have thought so. Do you have a red hatchback? <laughs> Amber, are you in Perth with Joel? Oh, uh, yes, I'm here. <laughs> oh, cool, okay. okay. Here you go. You're oh, wish me luck. Oh, my God. Oh, just, okay. just Your time myself. starts at the end of my first bird alarm. Here we go. Tim's bird alarm with Kate Ritchie. Something you use to file your nails. Emery board. Something you typed on, on to make words. Computer. A condiment that you put on sushi. Soy. <laughs> a vegetable that usually goes on a sausage sandwich. Onion. Something you use at an ATM to withdraw money. Card. What do you use in the shower to wash your hair? Shampoo. Pants that are made of denim. Dane. A cold <laughs> desert. You, a cold dessert you use the least scoop out. Sky's <laughs> Hurry up! Hurry up! <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> you throw your dip with. I'll do, I'll, 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 do, I'll do two more. I'll do two more, okay? Now, a savory snack you troll your dip oh. with. Jets cracker. And a piece of clothing you, you wear on your hands when they're cold. Clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how'd I go? Um, how, how, uh, Amber. Oh, 100 euros! Yeah, woo! I love skyscrapers. <laughs> <laughs> I, the thing I hate about this is I want to watch you guys play because it sounds ridiculous. Oh, so fun. Oh, wow. I really like that game. Tim's Word Alarm, back again soon. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel. 112 for you, Kate Ritchie. Dance with me. Drop tops in the parking lot. I used to think it was chop tops in the parking lot. Of course you did. I don't like chop tops. What? No. I had this discussion with someone the other day. There's no ice cream in the cone. But you push Oof. it. What I like to do is push it down with my tongue. I bet you do. Oh gosh, Joel Creasy's back, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I like a boys and berry top, uh, chop top. Yep. And that chop top knows it's been Joel Creasy after <laughs> after know. it's after it's had a little session with him. <laughs> be like the candy bars going no. I know, yeah. that, no, that chop top's Little chop top's trying to fling itself out of the freezer. <laughs> Ew, I'd Excuse rather me. melt than I'm go straight, in there. I'm straight, I'm oh, straight. I'm straight. That lucky yeah. chop top, can I just say. Yeah, exactly. I know. Can a chop top be gay or straight? It's a question for when we're back. Okay, um, yeah, put that on the board. <laughs> put, that, put that on the list. Hello. Can you put me through to the guy? Caller of the week. So many great calls this week. Oh, so many great calls. This was a... Cracker. Yeah, how weird's your accent? Off Liam Payne. I'm just studying and uh, laughing. I love the show. Well, I used to until you started knocking my heritage so much. Oh, where, oh. Are, you, where are you from, Dave? You like chips or crisps? <laughs> Sounds like that's all we eat. Chips and crisps, yeah. yeah it looks like um, it too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm near Wolverhampton. I was from a place called Kidderminster. Is yeah, Kidderminster so, better than Wolverhampton? Oh, no, they're both shitholes, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave. You're our caller of the week. Congratulations. Thank you so much, man. No, thanks for calling the show. You have won our 10th Caller of the Week mug for the year and we're going to send you an exclusive Kate Tim and Joel cocktail shaker. Oh, 
he'd rather a pint glass, I think. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel's Week in Review. We started the week with our captain back on board. <laughs> what are the words? <laughs> Is that B-I-T? <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be a Will Smith about it. No, you go punch him. And then I'm right <laughs> Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Let's start with breakfast. I've decided to get real loose with breakfast now because I'm not even pretending. I had a Tom Yum soup for breakfast on the weekend and I loved it. It wasn't breakfast, mate. Oh, yes, You've just it woken up. It was the afternoon. No, it wasn't. I had for breakfast. <laughs> I had a piece of Supreme Pizza for breakfast today. Gosh, it was so you? loose with breakfast. Know, what did you I have? I didn't have breakfast. Oh, I had a coffee, oh. a strong oat milk, <laughs> flat wine. Six, six, Cigarette. <laughs> I'll let's off the vape. All right, start the day. Yeah. Oh, I did. I had a mango ice and I pretended to have a coffee. <laughs> and a Red Bull. Oh, off, and off a vape. How do the Poms like it? Because it's chips for breakfast, crisps for tea. Because <laughs> they have chips in the morning, like hot chips. And no, 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 no. crisps for tea. Thanks. Crisps. Do you get crisps with chips as well? Yeah, yeah, chips and crisps, chips and crisps. <laughs> and a pint of Camden Ells, thank you. <laughs> no froth, thanks, just flat on the top. <laughs> and warm. And I'd get a taxi, but I can't afford it. <laughs> What's with the weird accents? Lady Gaga, I, she's, she knows oh, how yeah, to get... Oh, yeah, from House of Gucci. Oh, yeah. Uh, have you got your, Hi, everybody! Mm, you're a bit soft, Mark, there today. Tonight, tonight, tonight. I wouldn't tempt him, Joel. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay, just do the story, please. I, I don't know if you... It's just pushing. I know. Bring Stacey back. Whoa. Whoa, Stacey. <laughs> we had a fourth co-host this week. Whoa. Yeah, so good to have her live in the room with us. I know, every day. Hey, guys. Yeah, cool. Hi. Hey, Stace, what do you think of the Will Smith slap? This prize is totally wild. Okay, cool, good day. Did you have a good weekend? Today, I'm choosing the first caller. <laughs> I'm the first caller yet, Lone Ranger Stacey. Why are you saying that? So, open or closed casket? We've just run through Kate Ritchie's funeral. She should have an open casket. <laughs> just just want everyone to have one last little look. Yeah. <laughs> For the bank. <laughs> Ridiculous about the fact that you could check whether I died or not by saying. Name something you'd see at a funeral starting with K and you'd go, K! <laughs> because you're obsessed with Quick Draw. I know, even in death, you still can't like yeah. Quick Draw. You'd die with the app there, the Nova player. <laughs> and then you'd look around at everyone and go, Actually, I don't want to be here. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be here. I'm on the two of you here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on Tinder, Kate? I've never been on it. I've never done the swiping thing, but oh, I know it's when you do. Oh, you're a bumble girl, aren't you? <laughs> that's wrong. <laughs> Computer just said that's not correct. What's your phone? Put it on silent. Oh, we're in the studio, Kate. You'd know it if I was on Tinder. Really? Why? Just Just tell Nova Boy. Boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Nova Boy's jam. Oh, give me some jam. I met, told you I can't met, do it that way. Like Nova Boy today. Maybe, is that his jumper? <laughs> oh, stand back. Have you, I, been Nova, have you come straight from Nova Boy's bed? Have you come? Give it to him. Hey. Hang on. Your boots aren't under Nova Boy's bed, are they? <laughs> Spread the jams. Maybe we should match him with Ranger Stacy. Whoa. 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 This prize is totally wild. <laughs> to the girls, get some fun bits from Ranger Stacy. Wow. <laughs> I'm oh. having so much fun. <laughs> My friend just texts me saying, I'm loving Ranger State. He's your fourth guy. Don't listen to him. He's lying. <laughs> and finally, what did you think of the UK? I would like to live there. Chris, that, yeah, people recognise you there still. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care off the TV over there. <laughs> over there. This person's so laid back. Yeah. Well, because I'm having some calm denials and me crisps. <laughs> It's that Kate from the telly? <laughs> they wouldn't say Kate, they'd say Sally. Is that Sally from the telly? <laughs> oh gosh, I'd like to see her in a school uniform again. <laughs> you know home and away, Terry? No, I don't. <laughs> what a week on the Kate, Tim and Joel show. Oh, it was a great week. So uh, good to have you back, Kate week. Richie. Great yes. to be back. Let's, uh, good luck in Perth tonight. Let's finish with some Peking Duck. Nice. Some Honest, their new single on Nova. We'll see you in two weeks. I'll see you then. Kate, Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.